Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I have been gone for a long time. First I'm gonna do the unboxing and then I will talk about where I have been. But the long story short is that I am pregnant again and I feel, I've been feeling like crap. I'm finally feeling better, but I will talk more about that at the end. So for those of you who are just here for the unboxing, I'll get into the unboxing first. This is the spring 2021 add-ons from FabFitFun. I have had it for weeks. I didn't even care. Usually that would take self-restraint, but I didn't even care that I have it. Had it. I didn't even care that I had it. I'm gonna not probably, I'm probably not going to edit this video because I still don't have a lot of energy, but I am feeling better enough to film. So excuse me for that. Anyway, I've had it for a very long time and it didn't take self-restraint because I haven't felt well, but I am finally opening it. I skipped the spring box because nothing really spoke to me and if you're annual, you can skip one box I think per year. I, I think, I believe you can skip one. Um, anyway, so let's just get into it. I don't even really remember what I ordered, but I will put as, excuse me, as usual, I will put the, what I bought and how much it costs in the description box below. And I seem to have purchased a lot more than I remember purchasing. <laughs> oh. A smart water. I might drink this now. This is the freebie that I completely forgot about. It's the smart water strawberry blackberry. Okay, cool. I will definitely drink that. Um, okay, so the first thing I got is the oh, Graydon Skincare. This is a Canadian brand. This is their aloe milk cleanser with niacinamide. And this was really highly reviewed. I don't remember seeing a whole lot of reviews, but I love milk cleansers because I have dry skin. So that's what it looks like. If you're new to my channel, I do a lot of product review videos. Like I said, I haven't uploaded in a while because I've felt like crap, but I'm finally feeling better. So I'll get back to videos. They'll start to ramp up here pretty soon um, again for me. So then I got the I totally forgot I got this. I got the Dermalect Timeless Anti-Aging Daily Hand Treatment, which is, <clears throat> which is great because I have been looking at my hands lately over like the past couple of years and thinking, they're looking older. <laughs> so anti-aging is perfect. So there's that. It looks like this out of the box. I may look like I'm in a cute like office shoulder sweater, but in all honesty, this is the same funky stretched out sweater that I slept in. <laughs> um, anyway, and then I love the London Town nail products, so I thought I could really use them. So I bought this. This is their three pack of their nudes, the lacquer. I think this is their lacquer. This is. Oh no, these are perfecting nail bells. So these are semi-opaque and they just kind of make your nails have that clean manicure look, look, manicured look, which is my favorite kind of look for my nails. And then I have been impressed by the Design Me products. So I got their dry shampoo for brunette and dark tones. I have a lot of dry shampoo and they are, none of them are for brunette. So I'm, I've never used one for brunette tones. So I'm really excited about that. I'll let you know how I like it. I wonder how it smells. Let's see how it smells. Not very strong at all. Maybe a little baby powdery which is kind of typical, I feel like, for dry shampoos. Not typical, I've, anyway, I've smelled it in dry shampoos before. And then I got the Lift Me, also Design Me, the Lift Me Volumizing Blow Dry Mousse. I am really like this line and I just really want to try it. And I tried their Volumizing Shampoo and Conditioner, which I'm starting to feel like is one of the best shampoo and conditioners I've ever used. It just did a lot for my hair. Like right now my hair lays pretty flat and I've been using like Living Proof products, which I've heard people say Living Proof products make their hair seem weighed down and I can see how that is. For me, my hair is already naturally pretty fluffy, so it's no big deal. I don't mind this, but anyway, I've been thinking I want to try a lot of volumizing products lately. Okay, and then I got the Espa Natural, this is also hand lotion, which right now with all the hand washing we're doing, I think I felt okay with getting this. The Espa products had a lot of really, really good reviews. We're going to use this one right now. I was shocked because I remember when they were available on a sale before, they didn't seem to have a lot of good reviews. 
um, or not even not not a lot of good reviews they didn't seem to have a lot of reviews so it had this like plastic protector so that this wouldn't get squeezed in transit I've never seen that kind of design before anyway I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try because my hands are really dry I also have a baby a 10 month old I'm pregnant I have a 10 month old um, I'll get more into that later but uh, and so I wash my hands after I change him. I wash my hands all the time. I like the way it smells. It's very subtle. It smells more like bergamot than jasmine, which I got it mainly because it, it was jasmine and I love jasmine. It's not greasy at all. Like I can tell from the way it feels that it's water-based and it is. Um, so if that's what you like, then you would like this. Let's see how quickly that seems to absorb. I'll let you know, hang on, in a few minutes. Okay, um, I don't know what this is. This is, oh, this is another freebie. The Four Sigmatic Plant-Based Protein with Superfoods Repair Dietary Supplement. So, protein powder. Awesome, okay. I tried to get into protein powder at one point in my life and it didn't take, but I'll try again. Then I got the Crave Great Barrier, sorry, the Crave Great Barrier Relief. And this stuff is so highly rated. I am excited to try it. We'll see if it lives up to the rave reviews. Hiram recommends it. I have a good friend who has been using it from the sale and really, really likes it. She's like, I'm gonna get it again if it's ever available. So we'll see. I got the Volition Snow Mushroom Water Serum. I got like three serums, two hand lotions, three serums. I don't know what I'm thinking when I do that. But anyway, so that, I got this one. These, this is highly rate. This is highly rated. And then they also had their Strawberry Sea Serum, which was available in the sale, which is also really highly rated. I thought about getting that one, but I ended up going with, um, oh, this is the box to it, it fell out. I ended up going with this C serum. This is the Femu Lumiere Vitamin C. It's called Vital C. And this is K Beauty. Um, I was really, really intrigued by this. There weren't tons of reviews, but it looked really luxe. And it, it was, I think, oh, I don't remember how much I paid. Again, that'll be in the description box below, but it looked really luxe. And I just was drawn toward it. It seemed like it had more than one purpose to like not just vitamin C it's an oil so it'd be moisturizing as well um I want to open this and show you the bottle so um just bear with me on that like I said I'm I don't have the energy to uh, edit right now normally I edit all the stuff out of my videos it's really boring and at this point I'm just talking so that it's not dead silence while I'm trying to open this thing I really want to show you guys okay almost there Almost there. So here's the very, I think it's very beautiful. Like, imagine that on your bathroom counter. It's pretty. Anyway, so I was just really drawn toward this. Um, it had good reviews, like I said. And then one last thing. This is the Cocoa Floss Delicious Mint. I really need to start flossing, especially now that I'm a mom. I need to set that example that flossing is important. And I don't, I'm, I'm terrible at flossing. I don't know what it is. I'll go like two weeks, like I'm flossing, I'm flossing. And then it'll just die off again. And ugh, I don't know how to make that happen in my life, but I really need to. So the Cocoa Floss has this kind of marketing scheme where they talk about how, I'm gonna try this now, they talk about how um, it's supposed to make flossing seem fun, and I don't know, we'll see if it makes it seem fun. If I'm like, yeah, woohoo, I'm gonna floss. <laughs> um, so that's it, that's the unboxing, that's everything I got. Uh, I am pregnant again, I'm gonna get into that. If you care, I will talk a little bit about it. So I, I know I have a 10 month old. I just had a baby. If you've been watching me, you followed me through that journey. I am no spring chicken and neither is my husband. So we knew we wanted to have at least one more, probably only one more. And I'm 38, so the time is now. So we tried, actually we started trying again when my son was like four months old and <clears throat> it took about four months of trying and 
we got pregnant again and I am now tomorrow I will be 12 weeks so I am finally starting to feel a little bit better I'm hoping by next week I will feel a lot better but I have been feeling like such crap so I haven't been able to film and I feel the worst at night which is when I would film before and I just I would just be curled up in the fetal position in bed with a bag next to me luckily I never threw up but I definitely felt like I was going to and I was just crawling out of my skin. It was so uncomfortable. I was nowhere near this uncomfortable with my son. That's why I was able to keep filming when I was, the whole time I was pregnant, even though I was going through so much and such so many changes, I did a huge move during that time too. But I have just felt like such crap and I couldn't even care that I couldn't film. I haven't even done a, my skincare in like two months. I just, I'm just proud of myself for brushing my teeth before I go to bed because I feel so terrible. So anyway, that's where I have been. I have been sick, but for a good reason. And I um, will be filming more. It's gonna start to ramp up again. I think I've definitely felt better this week. I still feel pretty crummy at night. That's why I'm filming during the day right now, but um, I still feel pretty crummy at, crummy at night. So I'm gonna ramp up my filming. Filming. I have a couple more boxes that are backed up. I have my filming's backed up, but, um, and then I have product reviews for you and um, some empties. I have an empties video that I should do pretty soon here. And then I, I've, to mention before, I have kind of an idea for a new series that I want to get into um, and see how that works out. But uh, I have not abandoned my channel. That's the main thing I want to tell you guys. I have not abandoned my channel. I really love doing this and I have missed it some. I have missed doing my skincare. I've missed doing makeup. I've missed everything. I have look, I have looked like I've felt <laughs> the past few months. But anyway, thank you so much for listening. And I, again, I have not given up on my channel. That's just, I've been sick with pregnancy. So um, I will see you again pretty soon. And I love you. And uh, yeah, thank you for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. I would love that. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.